The images are disturbing to parents, startling to students, and unacceptable to school administrators. And now, fights like this chaotic scene at Zephyr Hills High School have the Pasco County School District taking action. Investigators say all-out brawls have broken out not only at Zephyr Hills, but also Ann Clode High School. News Channel 8's Lenny Supal joins us live from the school headquarters tonight. And Lenny, the superintendent did not mince words today when he released a video. He has had enough. Yes, Jen, that is what we are hearing tonight. The superintendent making it very clear that school violence will not be tolerated and there won't be any second chances. But we sat down with a mother who has two high schoolers in the district and she's a bit skeptical of his promise. She says she's been going to school board meetings for the last two years and still believes this could happen again. I really do worry um, for their safety um, at the schools because I don't feel the bullying is addressed. Rebecca Yingling's frustrations running high tonight with two students in the Pasco County School District. She's fearful of the future. Superintendent Browning last year said that there was a zero tolerance policy for bullying or fighting, but yet it goes on every day in every Pasco County District School. Her worries centered around school violence between students after two vicious brawls unfolded on two different high schools this month. This scene last week when 14 students were fighting at Zephyr Hills High School, which led to arrests. We had multiple fights that quickly escalated into brawls. One of them was serious enough to knock a school leader to the ground. Pasco County Superintendent Kurt Browning responding to the incidents with this YouTube video released this afternoon. We are seeing students now facing criminal charges. Again, parents, speak to your children. We will not tolerate violence in our schools. There will be no second chances. Thank you. If that didn't make it out onto the YouTube page and become so public, I don't think the superintendent would have had to release a video. And Rebecca Yingling also saying that teachers could use more support, especially if an incident like this were to happen again. Reporting live in Pasco County tonight, Lenny Sue Paul 8 on your side.